sim racing chassis provided by Next Level Racing. Check them out at nextlevelracing.com. Welcome to Sim Racing Explained, and today we are talking wheel and pedal resolution. Anytime you look up a wheel or a pedal, one of the specs you'll see listed is resolution in bit rate and or steps slash values. What is resolution? Resolution is the measurement for wheel and pedal accuracy. So for example, a bit rate of two would be two to the second power. The power is the bit rate, which equals four steps of resolution. This is what a resolution of two bits or four steps looks like. In this simplified example, the game will only register the wheel at four different positions. So no matter if you move the wheel to the two o'clock or 10 o'clock position, the game will still think you're at the 12 o'clock position. That is not very good. So let's up it to six bits. Two to the sixth power equals 64 steps of resolution. Now, this looks much more accurate, but while six bits looks much more accurate than two, and it is, 64 steps of resolution would still feel awkward to drive with a lot of wheel inputs not registering in game. This is why manufacturers use 12 and 16 bits in their wheels. At that bit rate, there are so many steps, too many to visually show you, that virtually none of the driver's inputs are missed. There is always going to be some loss of input, but it's such a small amount that we the drivers can't recognize it. The resolution of pedals is very similar. Two bits of resolution only yields four steps. That's why higher bit rates are used. And while seven bits or 128 steps of resolution looks pretty accurate, it could be better. From our testing, we find the threshold to be 10 bits or 1,024 steps. At 10 bits or higher, you can't notice any loss of information to the game. But 8-bit is a different story. At 8-bit or 256 steps, four times less the steps than 10-bit, it is noticeable. So there you go. When you're looking to purchase a new wheel, you want to make sure that it's at 12 bits or higher. And if you're looking for a new set of pedals, you want to make sure they are at 10 bits or higher. That will do it for Sim Racing Explained Wheel and Pedal Resolution. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and check out our website, isrtv.com, for plenty more Sim Racing related topics. For John Sable, thanks for watching Inside Sim Racing. See you guys next time.